Hey there, good morning everyone. Friday the 18th of February 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Proverbs chapter 18 verse 13 which read, He who answers before listening, that is his folly and shame. Be wise and get the whole story. To be wise in today's information saturated society, you need two vital qualities. These being sound judgment and discernment. That means you learn from God's wisdom from God's word and then apply it to everything. You filter information and make decisions based on the wisdom gained from God's word. Too many folk are gullible and are willing to believe anything they hear or see on social media, whether it's a news story or some gossip about a friend. They don't stop and question. They automatically accept anything. Don't throw away your common sense. Don't be gullible and believe everything you hear. That just causes trouble. Scripture reminds us in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 21, Do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. Just like it's important to get an accurate picture of things you see or hear online, you also need to get an accurate picture of your relationships. Without all the information you need, jumping to conclusions leads to quick tempers and arguments. To lower the anger factor and have harmony with other people, you must learn to reserve judgment until you know all the facts and understand the whole story. So how do we do this? We need to, to decide to choose and hold on to preserve sound judgment. Hold on to it. Don't throw it out or get rid of it. Keep a firm grip on it. The Living Bible translates the devotional verse for this morning as such. What a shame. Yes, how stupid to decide before knowing the facts. Don't be quick to condemn or criticize. Don't assume you know the other people's motivation because you probably don't. Don't decide before knowing all the facts. My dear friends, when you wait for the whole story, you develop the compassion to love well and you become more like Jesus. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.